Anytime you're fishing a jig or a plastic worm in deep structure, it's so important to be able to feel what's going on down there. You, you, can, you can start off by the, by the basic tools. You need a good graphite rod. I like about a seven foot medium heavy. It's really just a good action for fishing a worm or jig. And then fluorocarbon line is going to help too. Monofilament works fine and so does braid, but fluorocarbon has a little bit lower stretch. It's completely invisible in the water and it really transmits the strike a lot better just because it has less stretch. But the, the thing that I want to show you here the most is the grip that I think will help you in your fishing. If you're, if you're fishing a crankbait or you're fishing a spinnerbait, it's okay to, to uh, palm the reel. But you've got cork and you've got, got the steel in your hand and you just don't have the sensitivity. It's fine for a, feel, uh, for a motion bait but not for a feel bait. Uh, what I want you to do is to reach forward and, and split finger that graphite blank. Actually put it in your, in your palm and lay that line over your uh, uh, index finger and under your thumb and when you lift now you can actually feel that line as it's draping over it's going to really add to your sensitivity they call it a western grip a lot of the guys out west fish really really deep and they started doing that because it gave them that extra sensitivity it makes a big difference and finally fish with a high rod anywhere from a two to a one o'clock angle is going to give you a lot more sensitivity than if you have your rod at a low position and, and, and besides that once you have the bite it allows you to drop your rod take the slack out and do business this could be, this could be, no, he's coming out, he's coming out, he's coming out. Oh man, nice one. Under the boat. Peel and drag. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.